Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about versioning or enabling versioning on your S3 bucket. Versioning is one of the things that will help you save different versions of a file. Let's say I'm working with text files and if I want to, uh, if I'm updating a text file constantly. For example, um, index.html page if I'm working on a static website bucket, right? So if I'm updating my index.html file constantly and if I want to have some kind of um, way to keep track of all the changes I've made then I can enable versioning on that bucket and to do that let's get started you go to your S3 console you create a bucket normally you enter a bucket name I'm gonna say my name versioning right and click on next and right here in the one of the four boxes that you'll see here is versioning keep multiple versions of an object in the same bucket now you click on this and you just enable versioning and it's simple as that now everything else I'm going to keep as default and I'm going to create a bucket now I'm gonna go to my bucket it's empty. Now one difference you will see from a normal bucket is this thing right here. And if you haven't enabled versioning in a bucket then you will not see this. So this tab will not be there if you haven't enabled versioning and uh, let's go ahead and upload a file. So upload add files and I've created a file um, named hello uh, the content of this file is it just says hi hello there nothing fancy just a line now let me upload this next 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 upload so all the default settings and I have a file. Now I'm just going to click on show. And as you can see there's nothing um, here yet. There's just one version of the file. I'm going to hide this. Come back to the normal view. And what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll up, um, edit this file and add one more line. I'm going to say I'm making a video. Right. So just one more line and I'll come back to the console upload add files the same file the same name of the file right next 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 upload so what I just did was I uploaded a version of the file that has more stuff in it with the same file name and normally if you do this in a normal bucket then your past content is erased or only the new version is saved there's no versioning there's only one file that's it but let's see what happens to our file since the, the bucket has versioning enabled I'm gonna say show and as you can see I have two versions now right now the latest version has 39 bytes of data and the one before that had only 16 bytes um, now this is versioning you know you can um, if I go and just completely rewrite this file I'm gonna say I'm deleting everything this is now a new file uh, so let's say I go to my normal view upload add files now the name of the file is the same hello right but I when I upload this before if there was no versioning enabled and when I pressed on hello and when I you know when I downloaded this I would only get the latest version of the file right there was no way I could get the older version of the file but since I have versioning enabled I just click on show 
there is three different versions and let's say that I wanted to access the earlier version of the file I just click on the last one this one and I'm gonna make it public so that I can view in the browser well it didn't let me to so hi hello there so this is my old version of the file so you don't have to make it public I just thought I could view it on the browser that's why I clicked and make public now what if you want to delete this file you no more want this file right I'm done with this file I either give this to my friend who has taken responsibility of this file and I don't need this anymore I don't want to waste any space on this file so normally what I would do in a versioning um, in a bucket that doesn't have versioning is I would just click on this more delete delete yay right no so even though you see there is no file what if you just go back to show versions uh, there's still three versions and there's one more thing right here it is a delete marker now a delete marker is just you know um, something that says this file is deleted don't show this on the normal view anymore but if someone wants to find the versions of this file then they can still view it so this is only a file that says this item was deleted make sure to save the versions before it was deleted now the way I can restore the file is simple just delete the delete marker so this the top file is the delete marker as you can see right here delete marker and I say more delete yes so when I deleted the delete marker this file is the latest version as you can see and if you say hide once again you can see your file hello but then the question is how can you delete the files right one of the things that you might get asked in the solutions architect test is um, how to save on cost on your buckets so one of the things to remember is you don't want to keep the versions of the file and um, sometimes you might think that you have deleted a file but you still haven't deleted the versions so um, all you have to do is now two things right one thing one could be you want to delete everything every single thing of this file you don't need anything the other scenario could be that you only want one version of the file and you don't want to keep three versions of the file and waste storage so let's say the first case you just want to keep two versions individually go and delete two versions and delete now I, I'm keeping one file right um, if I click on hide I still see one file now finally let's say I'm totally done with this file no more right I don't want this anymore I want to save some space I don't want to pay for this file anymore even though if it's only 49 bytes I'm gonna delete this finally delete yes uh, now even in the show tab there's nothing if, and when I do hide the same thing so this is you how you delete a file in a versioned bucket you individually have to delete the versioned file the file versions otherwise and that's it guys thanks for watching um, in the next video I'll cover more stuff about uh, S3 um, maybe the MFA delete uh, look out for that uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos thanks for watching see you next time